Let's bring in News Nation political editor Chris Dyerwalt and anchor of The Hill Sunday for more on this one. Uh, Chris, happy Friday morning to you, my friend. Wrapping up week two here, what has stood out the most to you in this trial so far? I'm curious. Well, happy Friday to you, my friend. That's a, that's a nice way to ease into the weekend. <laughs> um, I, look, Donald Trump is a television producer. That is, at his core, he, his presidency was based on the fact that he was a TV star and he is a producer of television and he thinks very much about staging. Mm -hmm. He thinks very much, uh, if you worked with him, if you've been around him, he thinks very much about what's the angle, what's the shot. When you look at his mugshot, when you look at how he poses for the camera, he's always thinking about the optics of everything. Part of the problem of this trial for him is that he can't control all of the optics. And yeah. you get to see some angles and some shots and some looks of Donald Trump that are not the flattering looks that he wants, that are not the carefully orchestrated, carefully scripted thing. And just for me, the visual tableau of this, it looks very different than the carefully cultivated, curated image that Trump keeps for himself. Yeah, uh, and also there have been so many interesting moments and, um, and comments that he's made, too. I mean, the former president making headlines for his Truth Social post, denying media reports that he was sleeping in court. I know you saw this, saying uh, that he was just, quote, closing his beautiful blue eyes, Chris. Uh, he also delivered pizza to New York City firefighters yesterday after the trial last night. Are his efforts to turn the table on this trial while also staying on top of campaigning, are they working for him politically? So he's softening up in the polls a little bit. Uh, we don't have we, we don't have a second by second accounting of things, but we can tell you the trend. If you look at the DDHQ average at the Hill, if you look at individual state polls, there's some softening going on, uh, or at least some strengthening for Joe Biden. Uh, why that is and how that is, it, uh, it would be reckless of me to say that it's because of the trial. But we know that the trial is going on, and there was a really interesting survey that came out from Marist College, the Marist poll that came out this week. And it showed that the percentage of Republicans who believed that Donald Trump had done something wrong had gone up pretty substantially. Mm -hmm. And I think part of their approach, part of the Trump, the, maybe I'll put it this way. The two goals, one is to get, the first goal is get reelected as president, get elected again as president. And the other goal is avoid the being convicted of these crimes. Those two things are right. intention sometimes. And the best way to get through this trial with an acquittal or a hung jury is to trash the witnesses. These people are the worst. These people are the pits. They're garbage. Okay, but these were your friends. <laughs> these were your associates. This was your milieu. This is where you hung out. And that doesn't really work with the voters. So th these two things are intention. Yeah, and, and miles to go before we sleep in any sort of result uh, and, and verdict is reached here. Um, Chris, talk about your show this Sunday. What you got cooking? What guests have you got lined up? Uh, my forecast is for raw excellence, just a pure, <laughs> unadulterated hour at 10 a.m. Eastern yeah, of on just par for the pure, course. Yeah. uncut excellence. That's but, what but, that's what I foretell. No, we'll be talking about the protests. Yeah. We're going to be talking about uh, we're going to be talking about the race. We're going to be talking about the battle for control of the speaker's gavel. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some interesting guests in the works. And uh, if any of them are out there watching, please, please call the bookers back and say that you're a, you're firm booked for Sunday. <laughs> that please. you're a green light, that you're a go for this weekend. And I hope you have That's your bow tie right. on. Bow tie on for Sunday, please. Uh, well, now, I haven't seen now you I with a regular tie. <laughs> well, now, now, now I can't do it because you told me to. Now I have to be rebellious and refuse to wear the bow tie. So you ruined it. You no, ruined it. don't go against the grain. We like the bow tie. Okay, Chris Steyerwald, <laughs> thank you so much. Have a great weekend. And you can watch you The Hill Sunday with Chris Steyerwald at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.